This is the new M5 Mac Mini, and it's not just a refresh, it's a revolution. For years, the Mac Mini has quietly powered homes, studios, and offices across the world. But this time, Apple's smallest desktop might just be their smartest move yet. With blazing speed, next-gen connectivity, and deep AI integration baked right into macOS Sequoia, the M5 Mini isn't just competing anymore, it's dominating. And today's video, we're diving deep into what makes this little cube the $799 AI desktop king, exploring its insane performance, hidden upgrades, and why it might just be the best value Mac Apple's ever built. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. So grab your coffee, hit that like button, and let's see why the M5 Mac Mini is taking the tech world by storm. Apple's Mac Mini has always been the quiet champion in the company's lineup, the little box that could. Since its debut in 2005, this compact desktop has gone through countless evolutions, adapting to Apple's changing chip designs, operating systems, and creative ambitions. But now, with the M5 Mac Mini, Apple might have just built the most balanced, most powerful, and most value-driven desktop computer it has ever made. The idea that a small aluminum cube starting at just $799 could become the AI desktop king might sound bold, but the more you dig into what Apple has packed inside this latest machine, the more that title makes perfect sense. With 16 gigabytes of unified memory now standard, four Thunderbolt 5 ports, and Apple's most advanced M5 chip yet, this isn't just a minor refresh, it's a major leap forward for creators, developers, and AI enthusiasts alike. When Apple first transitioned to its in-house silicon, the M1 Mac Mini shocked the industry. It delivered desktop class performance in silence, sipping power while outperforming much larger PCs. The M2 and M3 generations refined that formula, improving GPU throughput and AI capabilities. But the M5 generation feels like a turning point, not just in speed, but in how Apple positions the Mac Mini as a legitimate AI workstation for professionals who don't need the Mac Studio's price tag. This machine marks Apple's quiet shift from entry-level Mac to Compact Performance Hub, a desktop that sits at the intersection of affordability, efficiency, and intelligence. Let's start with the heart of the beast, the Apple M5 chip. Built on an enhanced 3-nanometer process, it delivers up to 35% faster CPU performance and nearly 50% faster GPU throughput compared to the M3 generation. The new neural engine is where the real magic happens. It's twice as fast, capable of handling machine learning and AI-assisted tasks at speeds previously limited to dedicated accelerators. This means when you're using Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, or third-party AI-driven tools like Stable Diffusion or DaVinci Resolve's neural filters, the M5 Mac Mini isn't just keeping up, it's thriving. Apple's hardware software integration ensures the chip works in perfect harmony with macOS Sequoia, which has been optimized from the ground up for AI and real-time rendering. But power alone doesn't make this Mac Mini so remarkable. It's the way Apple finally listened to its community. For years, users begged Apple to ditch the 8GB RAM baseline that throttled performance for professional workloads. With the M5 Mac Mini, Apple has made 16GB of unified memory standard across all configurations. This simple but significant decision has been met with universal praise. It eliminates the memory bottleneck that haunted earlier base models and makes the $799 version shockingly capable. Even without upgrading, users can now multitask, render 4K video, manage large databases, or train small AI models, all without stuttering or memory swap lag. Apple finally seems to recognize that modern computing demands more, and 16 gigabytes is the new baseline standard, not a luxury upgrade. The port selection is another story worth celebrating. While past Mac Minis were sometimes criticized for limited I.O., the M5 version doubles down on connectivity. You now get four Thunderbolt 5 ports, each capable of up to 80 gigabits per second bandwidth, ideal for external GPUs, multiple 6K displays, or ultra-fast SSD arrays. In addition, Apple retains two USB-A ports, HDMI 2.1, gigabit, or optional 10 gigabit, Ethernet, and a headphone jack with high impedance support. For creative professionals, this setup means you can connect everything, from studio monitors to RAID storage, without ever reaching for a dongle. The message is clear, the M5 Mac Mini is built for serious work, not just casual computing. The design remains familiar, and yet subtly refined. The sleek, sandblasted aluminum enclosure is slightly thinner than before, with improved thermal vents along the base for better airflow. 
Apple has also upgraded the internal cooling system to manage the extra power of the M5 chip while keeping the system whisper quiet. Even under heavy load, fan noise rarely exceeds 25 decibels, making it ideal for sound designers and recording artists who need silence in their studios. The new design also uses recycled aluminum and rare earth materials, reinforcing Apple's commitment to sustainability, another area where the company consistently leads the industry. Now, let's talk about AI computing, the buzzword of 2025 and the driving force behind nearly every hardware upgrade Apple is making. The M5 Mac Mini isn't just another desktop, it's Apple's first truly AI-optimized compact computer. With macOS Sequoia introducing Apple Intelligence, a suite of AI features embedded directly into the operating system, this machine feels purpose-built for the next generation of smart workflows. From natural language automation in Finder to AI-driven editing in Final Cut Pro and intelligent photo enhancement in Photos, the M5 Mac Mini is designed to handle it all locally, securely, and efficiently. Apple's approach contrasts sharply with competitors who rely heavily on cloud-based AI. Here, everything happens on-device, ensuring privacy, speed, and no dependency on internet connectivity. For developers, this is especially significant. Apple has included expanded support for Core ML4, TensorFlow, and PyTorch, enabling AI researchers and coders to deploy models directly on Apple Silicon. Thanks to the upgraded neural engine and unified memory architecture, running large language models or diffusion models locally is now feasible on a desktop that costs less than a high-end graphics card alone. Early benchmarks suggest that the M5 Mac Mini can run optimized LLMs like Llama 3.8b or Mistral 7b at interactive speeds, making it an incredible entry point for AI experimentation. Beyond AI, Apple's traditional creative users, video editors, photographers, and music producers are also in for a treat. Final Cut Pro M5 Edition takes full advantage of hardware acceleration, offering real-time playback for 8K ProRes footage without proxies. Logic Pro leverages the neural engine to separate vocals and instruments faster than ever before. Affinity Photo 3, Pixelmator Pro, and Adobe Lightroom all showcase notable speedups thanks to Metal 4 optimization. Even in general tasks, the system feels fluid, app launches are instantaneous, and switching between multiple 4K displays is seamless. In essence, Apple has managed to compress the performance of a workstation into something that fits in the palm of your hand. Storage options have also improved. The base M5 Mac Mini now starts with 512GB of NVMe storage, with configurations up to 8TB. The real engine is where the real magic happens. It's twice as fast, capable of handling machine learning and AI-assisted tasks at speeds previously limited to dedicated accelerators. This means when you're using Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, or third-party AI-driven tools like Stable Diffusion or DaVinci Resolve's neural filters, the M5 Mac Mini isn't just keeping up, it's thriving. Apple's hardware-software integration ensures the chip works in perfect harmony with Mac 